Hey, well, hello. What's up, everybody? Uh, everybody knows who Nancy Gray is, right? But I'm uh, cause it it just came across my mind. Came across my motherfucking mind, cause cause what she said a day after Whitney Houston's passing. Now she went on national TV saying Whitney Houston was murdered. She said Whitney Houston was murdered. They got me questioning how did she know that shit was how did she know that Whitney was murdered? That kind of information wasn't even put out there anyway. That was not even a leak put out like that. Well but well something must have happened because she comes out saying Whitney was murdered. The autopsy didn't come back, her body ain't even fucking cold yet and she comes out saying Whitney was murdered now it's either me or it's just that Nancy Gray knows something's up she knows something's up before before the damn autopsy ever came out because I know that, because I know straight off the bat, the woman was when Houston was abusing duck, abusing drugs. That probably took her out, but for her to come out the woodworks and say Whitney was murdered without the autopsies backing that conspiracy up, without no, without evidence backing up her up, Nancy Grace story without even anything showing that Whitney Houston died of a uh, got murdered cause she Nancy Gray said somebody pushed her head down in the water and she drowned now the doctors there was many different doctors there was a few doctors saying there was mainly one saying she didn't drown because the water wasn't high enough in the bathtub for her to drown in. And it, like I said, I know I'm gonna sound like a broken record in this, but how the fuck did Nancy Gray know? She started, she started doing this, saying a murder shit before the autopsy came back. Cause nobody know, nobody knows that. If she did get murdered or not, sound like Nancy Gray is jumping the jumping the gun, jumping the damn jumping the damn gun before even before even the autopsy ever get back, and it's actually been bothering me. It's been getting under my, getting in my mind. And I've been thinking about it. So how this woman know she's dead? How, I mean, not dead, but how to know she got murdered? How does she know that? somebody killed her how did she know anything about the case without knowing what the people know without knowing what the people know and this because one thing is I think she I think Nancy Grace trying to out herself some I think she trying to out herself because that the police didn't release the autopsy papers and the doctors didn't leave leak out the autopsy papers cause I don't know what killed like the, the like well I'm, I probably know what killed is them drugs now come but everybody else don't know what killed her probably they probably think the same thing as me that alcohol and them drugs but for this woman to come out and say oh she was murdered she was murdered like for real? Are you are you are you kidding me and the people? Oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, Whitney Houston was murdered. Whitney Houston was murdered. Somebody killed her. Oh, just because your ass used to be a prosecutor and you was on Dancing with the Star doesn't make you no detective. It doesn't make you no detective, and it doesn't make you no damn doctor. It does. It doesn't make you. It doesn't make you anything. But just because you get, got got a TV show, 
just because you got a TV show, you think you can predict a crime before an hour after the crime has been done. You don't think about the consequences of what you're saying because you might be talking, you might be backing yourself in the corner, you might be setting yourself up where you're going to look guilty. I think she is, I think Nancy Gray has something to do with this shit. She came out the woodwork saying this shit. I think, uh, she died. She, uh, she got killed, she got killed, she was murdered, yada, yada, yada. Like, are you for real that you're going to say that? Did you walk your ass up in the damn morgue and talk to the doctor and say, oh, she was killed, write that down on a piece of paper? Because it makes no damn sense she say this now instead of waiting, waiting. Until the wait until the body got cold, wait until the autopsy came out before even saying anything about the damn death of Whitney Houston. Because this is leaving me to think Nancy Gray has something to do with it. It's making me think she has something to do with it. Because there's no in hell she can predict. She can predict what's on that piece of paper on that autopsy paper. She can't predict that. But how does she know she was murdered where well, the doctor said there's no one that she didn't couldn't drown because the water wasn't too high. If the time screen if the time screen came back saying she was positive for certain drugs and even alcohol, what do you know more than what that doctor is telling people? Does Nancy Gray know something that the people don't know? Is Nancy Gray hiding something? Is she the one that probably killed Whitney Houston? I know there's an open wound because she's passed on, but it's just a simple fact is this woman comes out to a day after Whitney's death just to say, oh, she was murdered. Her child don't even, Christy, uh, Bobby Christie, don't even want to hear that. Barbara Brown don't want to hear that. Sissy Houston don't want to hear that. Dion Warwick don't want to hear that. Aretha Franklin don't want to hear that. All these people, all her fans, all her family, don't want to hear some woman going on national TV telling them she was killed. How you, like I said, how do you know? How do you even know about this, man? It's it, it's just something else that this woman that this woman comes out the woodwork and says she was murdered. Not even a tank screen coming back came back saying that she was murdered or saying that this happened to her. This what happened. That what happened. Her body had this in it. Her body had that in it. It's not even coming out the report. It, like they say, they will have it. But they say the, uh, the they say the arm times will come back in a week. It take, they say it would take a week before they come back, and you sitting up here, uh, she was murdered. Like I said, don't get don't, don't, like, uh, it, it, it makes it sound strange that she's saying this out of out of the blue, man. Like people don't wouldn't even thinking about her being murdered till Nancy Gray said something about it. It makes me wonder, like, makes me wonder about what Nancy Gray did. Where was she at when Whitney Houston was in her hotel? Was Nancy Gray in that bathroom with Whitney Houston? Come on, people, y'all gotta ask the right questions. Y'all gotta ask the right people. Not white, but right. Because it's seeming, it's seeming that she knows more than what she is telling people on national. TV and what she's telling the John Q public what she's telling her friends and family that she knows more than what she's saying because one thing is people want to one thing is she just passed away only people wanted to do was pray for her family grieve over her death and this woman comes on TV to say this shit 
and ain't nobody questioning this woman about why she said it. The autopsy's not even back yet, but you said it. And does she had did she have anything to do with it? Because the police wasn't even investigating uh, about a murder. That was investigating on how she died. The autopsy back didn't come back saying well she was it was it's a homicide. To me, it sounds like Nancy Gray had a little hand in it, or she knows who did it. Come on, y'all gotta ask these questions, people. Since she say this, why ain't the police investigating Nancy Grace for coming up with this conspiracy about Whitney Houston had passing on but being murdered? Come on, y'all. Think about it. Take a second. Wonder what it was really, what's really up with Nancy Grace. Did Nancy Grace kill Whitney Houston? Did she know who did it? Did she have a hand in it? Did she plan it out? Did she sit up there and try to tell people it was a murder before the autopsy came back? Because it sounded like to me she had something to do with it. She can go on a she can go on her TV show and say, I did not do it. But you said it before the autopsy came back seven days you said it seven you said it before seven days passed you said it the day after her passing you said it Sunday Sunday or Monday that you said her, her pay, uh, about murder I didn't like I didn't know it was murder Bobby Brown didn't know it was murder Whitney's family didn't know it was murder the fans didn't even know it was murder until Nancy Grace went on national TV and opened up her mouth and said murder. She can sit there and say, I'm going to sue you for slander, but you're the one putting yourself out there on Jump Street telling people that she was murdered. Not me, but you. Now, she needs to wake up and realize, man, you can't go going around and after somebody's, after somebody's passing and say, oh, she, he or she was murdered. How? How? When? Who did it? That's the question that we supposed to be thinking about, man. How, who, it was that she said it. When, what, how, and who did it? Like I said, I think Nancy Grace had something to do with it because there's no way in hell people was thinking about murder. You see what I'm saying? Y'all gotta think about this. Does Nancy Gray really know who killed in it? Did she have a hand in it? Because ain't nobody else on broad national um, in the media brought it up. Not the news, not the Inside Edition, Access Hollywood, Inside, Entertainment Tonight, E, MTV, BET, The View, The Talk, whatever. How how did she know? And it didn't even hit the media about it. All they said was she, there was pill bottles and alcohol involved and she was in the bathtub. That was it. That was it. But she said it was a murder. Like I said, y'all better think about it. How did she, the fuck she know she was murdered unless she had something to do with it? This has been Afro Joe. Ten like a T-I-S. If you like what I got to say, leave a comment or a video response make sure you subscribe to both my channels CeeLo Jr. 2 and CeeLo Jr. 3 follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie make sure you subscribe to Mother Wookie on YouTube holler at a Wookie when like if you don't like what I care like I to say you can kiss my ass and go somewhere else with that bullshit but I think Nancy Gray has something to do with it I think she did think about it people I think she did come on wake up hello all right peace in the bottom here grease